Okay, so here is what today's video is based on. The difference in skating in Vans and Nike shocks. You see how wide those shocks are? Those two little bubbles on the back there? They suck. All right, I am really pressed for time this morning. It's 32 degrees and it's supposed to start snowing again pretty soon. But while there is no snow on the ground and I'm in this area, I'm going to stop at a skate park and just get a little uh, cruising in. I'm wearing my Nike shocks, which I hate to skate in because they're like big and bulky. I wear them because they're comfortable when I'm going to be out walking around, but, uh, but I hate to skate in them. But that's what I got on, and I'm in the area, so I'm going to hit this park for a few minutes here. This is funny. Usually when I come over here, any stickers I put on a trash can are gone. It's actually still there this time. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. I cruised around the park about twice. Right after I got done saying I hate skating in these shocks because they're so wide, my wheel hit the back thing here. And I flew off the board. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for that crap today, so it's cold, it's snowing, I'm getting out of here. I'm a guy over here skating named Josh. If you're watching, dude, what's up? <laughs> I'm out. So this is a perfect time for me to kind of talk about this fear, the fear of falling um, when you're an adult compared to when you're a kid. When you're a kid, you really have no responsibilities in the world except for to wake up in the morning and go to bed at night. So you can skate all day, every day, take as many risks as you want. And if you break some bones in the process, nothing suffers except for yourself. It hurts and you're laid up for a little while, but other than that, everything goes on as planned. Your parents are there paying the bills, feeding you, taking you where you need to go. Everything's done for you as a kid. When you're an adult, and I'll speak personally for myself now, I'll be 42 in March. I'm not married. I have one income, and uh, so I pay all the bills. I have all the responsibilities on my shoulders to get things taken care of. And if I get hurt skateboarding, <laughs> there's nobody there to pick me up. There's nobody there to take over my bills and run me around where I need to go or, you know, run my businesses for me. That's why that fear is very real as an older guy skating. That's why I wear my knee pads and elbow pads and my helmet, which unfortunately I didn't have with me today. But I also only planned on cruising around a little bit, stretching my legs, and I still fell. <laughs> but, you know, when I'm hitting transitions and trying to do tricks and things like that, the fear is right there on the surface. And it's it makes it a lot more difficult because I can't get hurt. I cannot break bones. I'm in a group on Facebook for only guys over 40 who are still skating. Constantly, they post pictures of these huge injuries. Like this one recently posted a picture that he went out. And this is actually his first time skating back in like 20 years or something. But he went out, stepped on a board, fell down, and broke both arms. If I broke both arms skating, I don't even have somebody here to wipe my butt for me. <laughs> let alone do my job and pay my bills and take care of life as I know it. But I don't know, if, if I had skating shoes on today, I should just throw some in the back. I should bring my Vans with me everywhere I go, just in case I decide to stop and skate. But if I had skating shoes on, I probably would have just got up off the ground and skated around a little bit more because most of the time when I fall, it's when I first start out. You're not warmed up yet. You're not really stretched out yet and kind of wobbly, you know what I mean? So most of the time, that's when I fall, is when I'm just kind of getting warmed up. So yeah, if I had my skating shoes with me, I would have just got back on and, and at least cruised around a few more times and made some kind of a skating video to post. But, uh, but these Nike shocks, man, that's the last time I ever try to skate in these things. They're just so wide on the bottom that every time those wheels hit, and I just fly off. <laughs> so, all right guys, that's 
that's your wonderful skate video for today. Probably in a couple hours, everything will be completely white here again. I hate Ohio so bad. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Air up.